Hello everybody. So we're on our way to Timisoara and then we're gonna have a very busy few days where Matt goes for his consultation and surgery. Matt, do you want to tell us a little bit about yeah. what's happening to you? Yeah, basically um, I need to see a doctor because in the last month, um, interestingly enough, my nose this bit, um, decided to grow a polyp. I don't know if you've ever known or ever heard of that. I hadn't. Um, basically, it's where hair follicle or follicles get infected and it grows a big fleshy polypy thing. Um, so, I need to go to the doctor tomorrow about 10 o'clock, uh, which is about 8 a.m. UK time. Uh, have a uh, consultation and then um, they'll either take it out in the day or put me back in to get it fully removed. And interestingly enough, and I didn't realise this, the polyp that you can see near the front of my nose um, may not be, you know, it may be only be a small percentage of it. You can actually go right, right back into the back of your nasal cavity near your throat as well. So it should be interesting uh, seeing what it looks like. <laughs> but that's, that's me. Also, obviously, because the, the polyp is so enlarged, is uh, obstructing the breathing. So it's like even his own body is trying to kill Matt. <laughs> and uh, yeah, and it means I snore an awful lot because if you imagine that one of your nostrils is full of, um, it's basically a big fleshy polyp, a big thing, you know, inside your nose. So it's like, I'm certain for you, it's like sleeping next to a grizzly bear, or worse. I never slept next to a grizzly bear. Yes, you have. No, it's more like a gorilla. <laughs> okay, so this is what's gonna happen. Um, we will keep you updated on how Matt is doing and how his recovery is. If you want to, I can take some photos of the polyp and show you how it looks like. If you wanna be grossed out, I don't wanna see it personally. <laughs> so that's it. We're on our way to Timisoara. Ciao!